Smash Rock. Do you like Demon's Crest? Want to play an even better game of the same vein? It's the original of the series, Gargoyle's Quest, easily one of the five best original Game Boy games ever. It's up there with Link's Awakening, Super Mario Land 2, you name it, and it's only a few bucks on the 3DS Virtual Console. There might not be a better value out of any game listed there. What Demon's Crest gets wrong, this game gets right. And that starts with the gameplay and the level design. There's a limit meter at the bottom of the screen that indicates how long you can stay in the air. You can also upgrade this throughout the game, which is a really nice touch. The level design here is a much better fit for Firebrand's abilities, forcing the player to be much more precise with clinging to the walls, floating in place, and accuracy with attacks. Really, it's hard to believe an original Game Boy game plays this well. Everything feels really flawless, and you always feel in complete control. Gargoyle's Quest is much more clear about where to go and what to do, thanks to the more RPG-like aspects of the game. You have straight-ahead levels, of course, but you also go from town to town and gather information, and while exploring the world map, you also come across random battles that work in a way similar to Zelda 2 for NES. I know, random battles are annoying, but I honestly don't mind in this game because the core gameplay is so good. While you can't necessarily change forms in Gargoyle's Quest, like you can in Demon's Crest, there are a lot of upgrades available for your ability to stay in the air, for your primary attack, and of course to increase hit points. You can switch between weapons from the select menu. One projectile upgrade allows you to use it to reach hidden areas, kind of like Rush in the Mega Man series. Of course, I have to mention the NES sequel, Gargoyle's Quest 2, which came out very late in the NES's lifespan in 1992. This game is in fact very much a true sequel, and is much closer to the original Gargoyle's Quest than it is Demon's Crest. Again, it's highly recommended, and it might even be a top 20 NES game. That game is available for cheap on the Wii U Virtual Console. Anyway, both Gargoyle's Quest 1 and 2 remind me of hybrid games I've reviewed in the past, like ActRaiser and Vice Project Doom. These games just get it right the same way those games did. I think the platforming action and RPG elements work well together, but the real strength of these games is the platforming. It's classic Capcom at its best, and it's only a few bucks on the 3DS Virtual Console. Go check it out.